everybody, it's Sally with Vitches Discoveries with some Vitches jewelry bag unbagging and uh, something I found that I've been looking for for a long time. So, yeah, excited, but also mad at myself that I lose things, but we must get over that. Okay. Hey, I like this. Is that purple? I can't tell. It's got some smush on there. Smooge. I don't know what to <laughs> Yeah, it's like a dark purple. See, I was just talking about purple the other day. That there are some purples that I like. I think every color um, that can be muted, I like. Any muted colors. I don't really like, you know, the you know basic colors. I like them muted and just different but this is kind of a boho necklace with some of this on there it's very pretty yeah mm, I like it but yeah muted colors like that is a very nice dusty purple goes nice with that turquoise color Never would have thunk it. Nice big cuff. I like these. I think they're going to come back in fashion. Strong. What is that? I'm not going to open that, but I guess they're beads. Interesting. Oh. Happy Valentine's Day, almost. Got a lot of the heart theme going on. This is a really good knot attached. These are pretty. Um, attached to this chain. Hickok, USA. They make a lot of the um, men's jewelry. The tie uh, clasps and stuff. That's pretty neat. Oh, ring. It's got a lot of wear. I had, I think, kind of like, um, it was like a smoky quartz looking one. This has a lot of wear, but yeah, I think it's the same design. Love the green, of course. Groovy, groovy ring. I don't think there's anything written inside there. I thought it was a face for a minute. I guess it could be if you wanted it to be kind of abstract, right? Hey. Look at that. Now, this is very bright, but... It's Leah Sophia. Huh. I guess they copied. No surprise there. It's pretty. Lots of hearts. Some brass looking disc necklace. Is it broken? No, it has a um, barrel clasp. These feel like some sort of ceramic or stone. Maybe not. I'm not sure what that is, honestly. All right. A lot of bulky necklaces in here. Some shell earrings. Purple again. This is Chico's. It's got a cool chain, multi strand chain. Oh boy, okay. Super long necklace holding back off. 
I'm not prepared for this. Let's look at these. Made in Italy. These look like, isn't that considered Jasper? For a second I thought it was Goldstone, but I think it's Jasper. Yeah, there's a lot of weird necklaces in here. This is just that. Let's see. It seems like it's a Chico's thing, but I don't see any name on it. Things kind of brighten too. I have to go to a Brighton. I haven't been in a long time. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's new. They do have a lot of pretty stuff, and it does seem like it's good quality. Camp. This is really long. It's got this kind of hook and it's three tiered. Am I too close? Yeah. Oh, this might give you a hint of what I found finally. But yeah, three tiers of this. That's a lot. It's a lot to unpack, as they say. Ooh, love this color, of course, because it's turquoise. These are heavy. I wonder what these are made out of. Pretty color. It's got some wear or some discoloration, but love that color, of course. Makes me want the summer to come. Got these. Very lightweight. This, oh, some glass beads. This is huge. It's got the hook. It's got some, some dangles, little coiny looking things. I believe some wood. This might all be wood, different shades of wood. Doesn't smell bad. Sometimes it's really, the wood picks up the smells of different perfumes and musty, but no, it doesn't smell. This is a nice uh, necklace to transition to the fall. I think. Another swirly necklace, uh, earrings, necklace. Good for Halloween, or maybe I'm just seeing it against the orange of my little stand. I have a big, ugly orange finger. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> well, I've had this, it's covered with like foam. I've had this from day one. Got it for five bucks at Target, little tripod. It's been, it's been good to me. I had another one because they bought they were so cheap. I bought two at the time, but that broke. Just orange beads. Mother of Pearl. Blue. A watch. And it's sharp. Overstretched. Oh. Oh. I like the tinkling sound. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle that wearing them and tinkling all over. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Let me see. Oh, yeah, because they're kind of like bells. These look like um, real stones. Some lapis and um, garnet. Can't 
think of what the other one is. Believe me, it's in my brain somewhere. In the crevices of my brain. I don't know why I'm thinking of Kunzite. That is not what it is, Sally. That's okay. 21st and... 21st and... What does it say? Semi-precious stones. 21st and stone? Mother of Pearl beads. Little vintage clasp. A little dangle. Looks like there's two of them. Cute. Just a bunch of silver tone, copper, bangles. I guess we can see if there's anything inside. I don't think so. Those. And these bubblegum balls. Vintage bubble gums. They make me really want to eat some bubble gum. Don't they look good? I think they're wood. Nice color on them, though. I think they're wood coated with some paint that really lasts. Delicious. Oh, I take it back. Look what happened. Maybe somebody painted them. There was no. I don't think so. Cool. Okay. Yes. These earrings, the Tiffany earrings that I had lost for apparently five years because I brought them to Tiffany because I had found them and I wanted to get backs and I wanted to verify what they were and they are Tiffany & Co. They're sterling with 18 karat gold, a little bit of striping there. Light is not good for that. But anyway, I didn't realize how long ago I went to go get these. To get the backs. And there they are. They're very nice. They're very helpful. But I looked at the receipt and it was five years ago. Five years. And, you know, five years ago isn't that long ago, but still... They, um, yeah, 2018 in Manhasset. And they're five, they were like five dollars each plus tax. I mean, that's not bad. You would think they would overcharge you for something like that. Like, you just wanted simply wanted backs and be like, yeah, that's 50 bucks. No, well, that's a great deal. And you know, it was five years ago, but still, not that long ago. And apparently I went to her maze to smell some perfume, which didn't last five years. But anyways, I am super happy that I found those again. It was really making me mad at myself because I went all the way to Manhasset to get those backs. And now I feel complete. And I think that's nice for them to give me a little bag and this little soft little thing for only 10 bucks, uh, spending 10 bucks on those little bags, sterling bags. So I'm happy about that. And I thank you for joining me. I'm still doing whatnot. I did do an auction. Um, I'd like if more people came, <laughs> but still, you know, I did it. I did it, even though I had technical problems, but I will still be dropping a link and trying again. And I do, I do like aspects of it. I really do. So you'll see me on there. I'll drop the link. Like I said, I'll drop that link that you can use to save um, when you buy something and you get $10 off. And if you decide you want to sell, you also um, have that link and I'll send that um, in my description. Sometimes I don't put it in right away because I, I like for it to load first and then I go back in and do all that business. All right, guys. Hope you have a great weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye.